New details from Laura Flores Messick's murder trial, which began with the police officers gripping body camera video of the murder scene. She's accused of shooting her boyfriend to death, then slashing his neck with a kitchen knife. We caution you the video may be disturbing as Paul Venema takes us into the courtroom. Rachel Pinawa had just found the body of her son, 40-year-old Chasen Montez Dioka, at his home on the morning of June 11, 2017. Pinawa told police that her son and his live-in girlfriend, 32-year-old Laura Flores Messick, had a stormy, tumultuous relationship. They were arguing last night, and I told her that she had to go and get my son alone. She was causing problems. During opening statements, prosecutors said that Messick admitted shooting Dioka, the then slitting his throat. She said he had a gun, left it on the table. She picked it up and fired one shot. She told detectives, He taunts her, saying, you won't do it. She says she shoots him while she's in the bathroom and he's in the hallway. Detectives, next question, what about the stab wound? She says, I didn't know if he was dead, so I used a kitchen knife to cut him. Thinking of him at the time, what an <laughs> what a jerk. During his opening statement, Messick's lawyer agreed that the couple had a stormy relationship and said that both were guilty of what he called misconduct. That body cam video, apparently too painful for members of the victim's family to view, they left the courtroom in a hurry and in tears. Paul Venema, KSAT 12 News.